Cockatoos are perching birds belonging to the parrot family. The crest of feathers atop the head can be raised or lowered. They have strong feet to climb about in trees. Cockatoos make amusing pets, but they rarely learn to talk. They often scream loudly. Cockatoo reads K K K C reads K K K Connie Cockatoo was a colourful crested cockatoo who lived in a castle in Cockatoo County. Each morning before going to the college on the corner, Connie Cockatoo combed the crest upon her head and brushed her teeth. Connie Cockatoo was very careful about cavities. You would never see her eating cookies, cake, candy or cavity causing calamities such as that. No, sir, she preferred a crunchy carrot stick or a crisp cracker. Connie Cockatoo also brushed her teeth after every meal and before she climbed into bed. Why? Because Connie Cockatoo would rather sit on a cactus than have a cavity. One morning, as class started at college, Connie Cockatoo noticed someone was missing. There was cricket Crab, canary, cat, caribou, crow and clam. But where was Crocodile? Oh, what could be wrong? He never missed college, especially on croquet day. As soon as college class was closed, Connie Cockatoo cancelled all her plans. She must check on Crocodile. Connie Cockatoo flew down to the corner and across the canal. As Connie Cockatoo came near Crocodile's cabin, she could hear crying. Uh-oh, she thought, maybe he has a cavity. I hope he hasn't been eating candy. As Crocodile opened the door, Connie Cockatoo could clearly see what caused Crocodile to miss college. He had a painful cavity. Crocodile asked Connie Cockatoo in a caring voice, what have you been eating? Oh, Connie Cockatoo, answered Crocodile, sitting on a log. Nothing much except cartons upon cartons upon countless cartons of caramel candy. Countless cartons of caramel candy, exclaimed Connie Cockatoo. Come with me to see my cousin the dentist. He can take care of that cavity. But you must never be so foolish again. That night, back in her castle, Connie Cockatoo couldn't sleep. She was concerned about cavities. As the clock struck ten o'clock, Connie Cockatoo knew that she could what she could do to help all her friends avoid cavities. She would write a story so that all the boys and girls across the county and around the country would, could learn how to have healthy teeth. And that is exactly what Connie Cockatoo did. In what kind of home did Connie Cockatoo live? In a castle. Name two things Connie Cockatoo did before going to college. Did you say comb her crest? And brush her teeth? Well, then you are right. What did Connie Cockatoo Eat for snacks. Crunchy carrot sticks and crisp crackers were her favourite. What was it Connie Cockatoo would rather do than have a cavity? Yes, yeah, she'd rather sit on a cactus. Ouch! Who was missing from college class? 
Yes, it was Crocodile. And why did Crocodile stay home? Because he had a cavity. That's a hole in his tooth. What caused his cavity? Yes, eating lots and lots of caramel candy. Countless cartons of them. Who can help care for cavities? The dentist can, can't he? Do you think Connie Cockatoo had cavities? Oh, I don't think so. She looked after her teeth very well. How can we have healthy teeth? Yes, by brushing our teeth every time we eat and by using dental floss, can't we? What a good idea. Listen as I tell you a word. Can you hear the k sound? Cool. Can you hear the k sound in the word cool? Yes. Cool has the k sound. Rat. Can you hear the k sound in the word rat? No. Rat doesn't have the k sound. Down. Can you hear the k sound in the word down? No, down doesn't have the k sound. Clock. Can you hear the k sound in the word clock? Yes, clock has the k sound. Cave. Can you hear the k sound in the word cave? Yes, cave has the k sound. Loud. Can you hear the k sound in the word cloud? Yes, cloud has the k sound. Crib. Can you hear the k sound in the word crib? Yes, crib has the k sound. Who. Can you hear the k sound in the word who? No, who doesn't have the k sound. Cab. Can you hear the k sound in the word cab? Yes, cab has the k sound. Listen as I read a sentence. Can you find the word that has the k sound? My family visited a cave. Can you find the word that has the k sound? My family visited a cave. That's right. Cave has the k sound. That is a rain cloud. Can you find the word that has a k sound? That is a rain cloud. That's right. Cloud has the k sound. Baby brother wants to get into his crib. Can you find the word that has the k sound? Baby brother wants to get into his crib. That's right. Crib has the k sound. I can do it too. Can you find the word that has the k sound? I can do it too. That's right. Can has the k sound. Did you know a crab moves sideways? Can you find the word that has the k sound? Did you know a crab moves sideways? That's right. Crab has the k sound. Let's blend these sounds. K, A, K, A, K. K, A, K, A, K. K, A, K, A, K. K, O, K, O, K. K, A, K, A, K, ache, 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 ack, 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 ock, 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 oak, 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 ock, 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 k, ache. K, ache, cake.
cake k a m k a m came came k a s k a s case case k a p k a p cap cap Ab, k ab, cab, cab, k a n, k a n, can, can, k a r d, k a r d, card, card, k a r, k a r, car, car, k o p, k o p. Cope, cope, k o m, k o m, comb, comb, k o r, k o r, core, core, k a d, k a d, cod, cod, k a b, k a b, cob, cob. At, k at, cut, cut. Trust in Him, the Lord. Psalm fifty-seven, B. As the children of Israel journeyed to the Promised Land, they had many adventures on the way. At one time, the Israelites came to a certain place. The king had heard through his spies that the Israelites were coming. The king fought against the Israelites and took some of them prisoners. They called upon God to help them and promised they would obey him. God did hear them and answered their prayers and helped them. They journeyed a little further, but they soon forgot the good things God had done for them. They began to complain and to blame God as they had done so many times before on the long journey. To Moses, God's appointed leader, they said, why have you brought us out here to die in the wilderness? We don't have any bread or water and we don't like the manna that we have to eat. God had been so patient with the Israelites, but now he decided they needed to learn a lesson. He sent some kind of snakes or serpents that were very poisonous. These snakes were called fiery serpents, perhaps because their bites burned and hurt. Many of God's people died from these snake bites and they began to realise they had sinned against God. The Israelites came to Moses and said, We have sinned, for we have spoken against the Lord and against you. Pray to the Lord that he will take these snakes away from us. So Moses prayed for the people. The Lord answered Moses and told him what he would have to do. Make thee a fiery serpent out of brass and set it on a pole. When someone has been bitten by one of the snakes, if he will look at the brass serpent, he will live. So God made a way for the snake-bitten people to be saved from dying. If they would not listen to God and obey him, they would have to die. If they were sorry for their sins and wanted to do what God said, they could look at the brass serpent and be healed. They would not die if they would trust in God and accept the way he had provided. Sometimes it is scary to talk about snakes biting people, but this is an important story in the Bible because it teaches us something about being saved from sin. Each one of us is a sinner because we have sinful hearts. We commit sin in our lives. Knowing that we are sinners is kind of scary too, isn't it? When we realise we have done wrong, and that we have displeased God, we feel badly and a little afraid. This is a good story because it shows us that God is not angry with us for sinning if we repent of our sin. He made a way for these people to get well from their snake bites, and he made a way for us not to have to be afraid about our sin. Like these people in the wilderness, we are sinners. We do wrong because we are sinners. All of us are sinners, and we all displease God. God loves us and he provided a way for us to be forgiven. Just as the children of Israel had to be willing to follow God's plan, we must be willing to follow God's plan to have our sins forgiven. 
The serpent on a pole was a picture of God's plan. Jesus explained that himself. He said, And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man, and that is Jesus himself, be lifted up, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. The next thing Jesus said was something I know you all have heard before, and most of you probably can say it by memory. It is John 3.16 For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The brass snake on a pole was used to picture to picture Jesus being crucified on the cross for our sins. And I am very thankful that Jesus loved us and died to save us from our sins. Numbers 21, John 3, 14 to 16. Character objective, permitted, to trust Jesus with my life. We cannot be good enough to save ourselves, no matter how hard we try. The only way we can get rid of our sin is by asking God to forgive us. We must believe in the Lord Jesus who died for us and trust him to do what he promised to do. This is giving the control of our lives to the Lord. Psalm 37, 5b. Trust in him, the Lord. Psalm 37, 5 5b. Trust in him, the Lord. Psalm 37, 5b. Trust in him, the Lord. Say it with me. Psalm 37, 5b. Trust in him, the Lord. Let's say it one more time. Psalm 37, 5b. Trust in him, the Lord. Cockatoo reads k, k, k. C reads <laughs>